So I've been Ken and this has been the E-Class Estate. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ken, star expert at Mercedes-Benz of Stevenage, and today we are here with a little bit of history. So it is the E-Class, specifically the estate. Now this car can trace its lineage all the way back to 1953. So fast forward to the 21st century, what's it all about? Let's have a look and see. So usually when I'm doing things like this, I start with, say, the exterior and uh, the front of the car, but let's do things a little bit differently. So if you walk around with me, towards the back of the car. Now you buy an E-Class estate because you need the space and this new generation car has plenty of it. If you have a dog, if you have a washing machine, say even if you have two tires, the humongous boot in the E-Class estate will take it all. Now you can see the parcel shelf that rises up uh, automatically uh, to aid loading and unloading. You have a nice wide load bay that extends right the way back there. Now what we have here is CJ and CJ is a five-year-old uh, Border Collie. And just like I said there is plenty of room for all of the family to come along even if they do have four legs. So the exterior of this car is striking, I think you'll agree, but for me, it's all about the interior. I remember seeing this car uh, being unveiled a few years ago and seeing the interior, I thought, wow, a spaceship and a cocktail bar have landed on the inside of a car. Let's check it out. What a stunning interior this is. I mean, for me, I just love the way that the open pore wood trim wraps all the way around from side to side and uh, continues down into the centre console. Classic feature, of course, the analog clock, uh, which is flanked by all of the uh, menu select buttons. In the center of the dash, you have the large digital infotainment uh, display screen. Now, the graphics are really clear and the system is very, very intuitive to use. There's a lot that you can do uh, with this system, but it will all come naturally to you. And then down in the center, you have uh, one of the ways in which you can uh, control the system. So you have the circular dial uh, here, which will uh, control what you do on screen. And then you've also got buttons on uh, each side. So here's your dynamic select that will take you through your driving modes, eco, sport, uh, comfort, sport plus, and individual. And then uh, just below it, you have the button that will activate the active park assist feature. Right in front of the driver is the updated multifunction uh, flat bottom steering wheel. Now on the left hand side of the steering wheel you have this trackpad which you can use to cycle through all of the menus on the infotainment screen like so. And you've also got buttons uh, for volume, answering and uh, rejecting phone calls and the voice activation feature. Now again on the right hand side you have another trackpad but this controls uh, what you see in the digital display in the uh, instrument cluster. So again you can cycle through the uh, trip computer like so or you can also bring up uh, your next uh, navigation uh, directions or change around the radio media and so on. Now the cruise control has moved uh, onto the steering wheel spoke uh, now rather than on the lever uh, where it used to be down there. And just behind the wheel itself are the gear shift paddles allowing you to take uh, manual control of the nine speed automatic transmission. And right up above us is one of the defining features of the interior of this car, the full length panoramic sunroof. The glass will slide back, opening up the cabin even more. With the glass out of the way, that brings you much more light uh, into the cabin. And the wind deflector will pop up automatically. That will reduce uh, wind buffeting and keep cabin noise down to a minimum, even at motorway speeds. Now, one of the many features that this car gets with the premium package is the fully electrically adjustable memory seats. Uh, so they're adjusted on the door card and you've got three settings that you can program into them. They are of course heated and the uh, driver is able to adjust the passenger side just by pressing that button. 
These seats not only look great with the uh, leather and the Alcantara mixed in there, they are also so comfortable and so supportive. Be it a short journey, you know, whether you're crossing Hertfordshire or whether you are crossing continents too. And in the back, of course, you have room for a full-size Border Collie German Shepherd Cross, but you do have room for three full-size adults in here too. The central seat doubles up as a armrest, double cup holder, and a storage unit in there too. What I particularly like about it is how far the panoramic uh, sunroof extends back. There is loads of light coming in through the roof for the rear passengers. Now in the E-Class range, you can get a whole host of engines. So the one that we've got here today is the E200, and that is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. That gives you 184 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. And that's transferred to the road through the amazingly smooth nine-speed automatic transmission. Honestly, until you drive this, it's difficult to put it into words just how imperceivable the gear changes are. You really, really have to try if you want to notice the gear shifts. Now, there's a range of four and six-cylinder petrol and diesel engines uh, for the E-Class. And newly added, you can get two hybrids. There's a petrol and a uh, diesel hybrids, and uh, they can give you a zero emissions driving range of up to 31 miles. And should you fancy a little bit more, well, power, then there are two AMG models available for the UK. First one being the E53. That is a six cylinder petrol engine with a mild hybrid system, or there is the all conquering E63S. So it's great to look at, a lovely place to be. What's it like to drive? Well, it is really, really planted. It is so solid and so stable through corners, thanks to the wide track and that long wheelbase. You get really good feeling through the steering. It's uh, nice and light when you need it to be, but also firm and direct. And it weights up really quickly at speed. So I've been Ken and this has been the E-Class Estate. Now, if you want some more information on this brilliant car, then have a look at Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire. The link uh, will be down here somewhere. And there you can take a look at the fantastic offers that we are doing on these brilliant cars at the moment.